Hi everyone, it's Ian, and that's facebook.com slash iHewitt, H-E-W-I-T-T, India, Hotel, Echo, Whiskey, India, Tango Tango, in, after facebook.com. And we're talking to you tonight from moviesensorlights.com. Don't forget, I know it's cheap and nasty, but if you're going to be cheap and nasty, you might as well be fully cheap and nasty, and have all sorts of nasty, oh, 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 movement since life have come. And lastly, and not, yes, it is still the same, movement since life have come. Okay, now, um, we are the ultimate experts on movement sensor lights because we tested them all. And today, I'm showing you this light here, one of my favourites. If it was rechargeable, it would be one of the, it would be almost the perfect light. Um, and the rechargeables will come, and the moment they come, anyone who orders these, they'll get the... When I say rechargeable, I mean USB charge, like your um, smartphone. All of, we suggest all our stuff has to be uh, rechargeable, either by USB, for example, this one has a USB cable, like your iPhone, that goes in there, and you charge it two hours, it's red, it goes green, and beautiful light. This one is still on batteries, but rechargeable batteries, okay? And whenever we, anyone orders these, it has to come with a battery charger, and we hope you'll promise we'll have a link to where to buy the batteries, uh, the best ones, um, and we, we hope you will, we're gonna make you a you know, ticker box that says we promise to buy rechargeable, because really they're a nightmare. Um, we're, if everyone goes to these LED lights, we're saving tons of power, great for the planet. If everyone uses normal batteries like Duracells or EverReady or whatever they are, um, 600 of them go into landfills for every eight of these, okay? It's just no comparison. They're an environmental disaster if you don't either charge them or use rechargeable batteries. This one is using rechargeable batteries. It's fine. Um, it's got on, middle is off, and auto. If it's dark and any one thing moves in front of it, that will go on. The difference with this one is we call it the kitchen line. Um, we'll put the cover back on of the batteries and we have, reached, we have charged our batteries in the best charger, that one, which we will tell you all about when you buy them. Remember, go here and all the information will be there. So today I'm gonna to tell you how to mount these and it's not that simple. Okay. This also comes with, let's de-box one. They come like this. Uh, the best one, we reserve the right to send always the best rather than what you see on, online. Um, it will be very, very similar, but uh, it may not be exactly the same because it will be better. This one comes and it makes it dual purpose. And one of the reasons I love this light so much and we've added it to our range is the dual purpose is, um, I don't even know what they're called really, I suppose a key holder, but these can very easily be fitted with hooks. And what happens is, you know, people love to hang their keys. So it goes like this, one, two, three. And they're really tight and really tough and really well made. Top quality like this. Now, how they say to mount it, and if you're a handyman, etc., is the way to go, and you happen to be putting it into... Basically, they give you a couple of screws and the old-fashioned plug, okay? Now, if you're a handyman, you've got a drill and all that. Um, my brothers and I, you know, we had this uh, killer red toolbox with only the latest tools in it. And um, anyway, we could, in that case, masonry drill that plug, and put that in, or drill it into wood, self-tapper, whatever. Um, that would be the way to go if it was never to be moved and you were putting it into wood. I have decided to put this where it should go, even though I've got two there already being tested. This is where it should go because it's the one where you come in, it either goes in the kitchen and you hang uh, different implements off it, or it goes like most people I think will use it, as a light when you come in the door to hang your keys. Now, how I've decided to mount it, there's a few ways we could have put soft Velcro on there 
peel off Velcro with super glue and put Velcro on there and put Velcro on the other part, which in fact is what I did with this one. These are soft Velcro spots. The first time I put it on, they, it fell off on the ground last night. It lasted a few, two days. They've now been glued on with super glue and let's go and have a look where they're supposed to go. Now that's only got that much soft on it, remember? Follow me. Lights harder already on. This here, we'll actually use the big lights. This here has three ways of mounting it. Magnet, a tin plate in case the, the light is the magnet. I mean, the light's got the magnet on it, we could magnetize it. Or, as you can see, that is the rough Velcro super glue. This is the soft and just that amount, an inch square on both pieces. And you have a light that will come on. And, but there are other ones that do this application. Of course, you've got to have it on auto. Is the old fridge light to see if it's on auto? Okay, that's not the one I wanted to put out. Wrong light. No batteries in this one. It must have been this one. So while you're there, this clips into here. Once again, I wouldn't suggest it for this, but it's, it is made for it. For example, this has an excellent metal pull-out wall hanger on it. So if you do have a screw in a wall, you can mount it just like that and you'll just leave it hanging. In this case, very strong metal. We're going to put it back in because we're going to use it. Velcro. Okay, so an inch of Velcro on there, an inch of Velcro on there. Put it nice and tight, nice and strong. And that will go off if we don't move. Uh, just got all the lights up. It will go off. Can't move. Twenty seconds. This one's set on. I must have gone the wrong side. Hmm. Is it? Okay. You've got to be able to read auto on and on. Can't move the camera. There you go, 20 seconds. And if I move, of course, it comes on. However, I suggest this one is better with the hooks on it, say there. If you do have wood, if you're gonna put on this wood cabinet, I'd use the screws, just not one off. They are very tough. Is it still working? Oh, yes it is. Um, this one has been Velcro, and I knocked it off the Velcro, but there, it's on strong, that's not coming off. But um, why I'm going to mount it today, because I want the hooks, is here. Now, uh, sorry, here. Now this is a concrete wall. If I was mounting it here on wood, I would use the screws as suggested. But I want to mount it on concrete, so how are we going to do that one? Um, now Velcro would hold it, a nice long bit of Velcro, a bit of Velcro, and that would be fine, but not super strong. In other words, you hang a fry pan off it or something, it, would, it wouldn't be mega strong, but two pack epoxy would. So, my plan was to get the hooky one, we'll turn off this light, okay, to get the hooky one, and if it was a wood cabinet, as I said, I'd use screws, um, I'd be tempted with Velcro if it was just a set of keys, um, and didn't need to be strong, but I think, Two pack epoxy would be the go in this case. You would mix up A and B. Arrow dart, we often call it in Australia. This is just called three ton clear epoxy. It's always just a two part glue. You mix it up, it looks like a clear liquid, a clear sort of paste. You spray it on there, tape that onto wherever you want, 
and 10 minutes later, the glue actually dries in four minutes, this one says five, give it 10 minutes and that will never come off. That will be on that wall forever. And then you simply click the, the light in the right way. Click the light in and so when you open your front door, the light comes on. If you want to, you can grab it as a flashlight and you hang your keys and it's a nice light to have next to the, the door. So, shall we do that? Or I think everyone pretty much understands that. Again, you would get Velcro, a certain thickness, down there, Velcro wherever you wanted it, but remember, the stickiness plus super glue, and it might stay there. Uh, none of them will stay there. None of them will stay there without being adjusted. This thing, it's supposed to, and it feels like it would work, it's supposed to hook on the side of the, the bathroom, the toilet bowl, and it feels like it would stay there. And over the day, it falls off and it falls off. It's totally useless. Great invention, but it's no good. It won't stay the way, unless of course it's a house full of women, and if the seat's never put up, it's beautiful as they say, the seat's always down. If the seat goes up and down, that will fall off. We've uh, fixed it by putting Velcro on here and Velcro on the side of the bowl, and it's fantastic now. But that was a nightmare, and I, didn't, and I know they sold over 200,000 of these, and 180,000 of them, I reckon, are in, in cupboards going, oh, um, it fell off, you know. Um, by the way, just you'll be curious now. One, two, three. This sits in the toilet bowl, and when there's movement and it's dark, comes on, lights the whole toilet bowl, looks fabulous. When you walk into the bathroom, it's bright and it scrolls through eight colors. So you walk in there and it'll be a blue bowl, then pink, then green, like that. Or you can push the button on any color you like and it will stay that color. Um, only movement activated, of course, and rechargeable. They really are fabulous if you know how to mount them, uh, which took us a while. And then one, two, three to turn off again. Excellent, fun product, but uh, actually useless unless you work out a different way to mount it. So I don't think there's any point in actually showing you how to do it. Everyone knows how to mix up two-part glue. And if you don't, a glue like that will, will suffice. And you could simply take that off, put your, this is for, it says for leather and rubber, etc. You can put that down there, bit of tape, let it sit, take, take the tape off, and even a glue like that, Tarzan script, whatever, will hold it and dead solid. Um, again, on these, they've got no, but that's nice, nice and soft. And I might as well show you, if you look up, you'll see two stuff on the right. And how it works is, they're Velcro, and when I come in the other door, these two come on and they last forever, and they're rechargeable, and they go like that. And if we turn off the lights, and my lovely assistant will stay here, I'll go outside. Um, well, actually, she'll turn off the lights while I go outside. And I'll come in, and you should see the two go off, and you'll understand the concept. Turn off the lights. straight on, uh, they're magic, <laughs> as did Old Faithful, these are brilliant and cheap, and w I put one above every window. Uh, thank you, Dan, my lovely personal assistant, and I think that's enough for tonight, an excellent light, this video will be on the page for these, um, it's one of the only ones that we recommend that are battery powered, and therefore come with a charger. I've just found a charger that goes into USB, charges four of them and uses no power. And you can of course put it into an adapter and put it in the wall anyway. So it may come with that. But you're basically gonna get a kit that comes with rechargeable batteries, battery testers, Velcro, everything that you will really need to mount these lights. And uh, 
I think they're only available from us. And um, if you stick with the experts, we've also got a free, well, once you become a customer and buy anything over $30, we send you the secret LED, the secret LED COB lights report. And the reason it's secret and you have to become a customer is because we don't want our Chinese friends to, to know all our secrets. Um, if they watch this, they've already learnt too much about Velcro and other things. And there are some other tips and tricks that I want to keep for clients only. And everyone who becomes a client will, within 24 hours, be sent a link to a private, unregistered, unindexed page of uh, extra tips and tricks uh, that'll make your life so much easier when you get into LED lights and everyone will uh, pretty soon in the next five years I can see it that uh, no one will walk around in the dark anymore when you walk in lights will automatically go oh someone's in there and they're moving we're on and oh no one's in here now for 15 20 seconds uh, we're off and it's very comforting I get up and as soon as I put my foot on the ground lights light up I never walk around in the dark anymore and I rarely turn on the main lights. Um, you could put a couple of those round ones every couple of metres down any room and you would have full LED lighting. Um, we'll quote for your house, we're going to have some... There's no money in selling, you know, $12 lights, but um, we're going to have kits where you'll, it'll be like $200 and you'll get eight of these and 12 of these and, and for four for these reasons and it'll outfit your house. All the ones I think that um, are really required, like the ones in the wardrobes and that. I mean, as a gift for your mum or your wife, nothing beats, she goes out two hours later, just imagine it, she goes out for two hours and she comes back home and the next thing she does is open the, her wardrobe and where it used to be darkness, she can now see, and then goes into the bathroom and one comes on in the light and the toilet bowl's pink and uh, everywhere she goes, in those cupboards she's been using for years, Suddenly she can actually see in the pantry. She can actually see all the, the food at the back of the pantry. And if she can't, they all come straight off to be used as a flashlight. Um, the greatest gift out. And um, very, you know, guys are always saying, I can't find anything to give my wife or my, or my mother. These guys, trust me, my mum was thrilled with uh, 40 bucks worth of uh, rechargeable lighting. Um, she was from, Darkness into light, what can I say? Thanks everyone, and bye from movementsensorlights.com, the kitchen light we call it, and they're excellent movement sensor light, and they're better, they're better with batteries in them, and they go like that, or off, or on auto, and that's held by just those Velcro pads. Super glue, no super glue, it's gonna hit the ground. Good night and uh, stay tuned for the next exciting episode of What is it? Oh, I've forgotten already. It's, I think it's movements is the life to come. Be there or be square. Good night.